Well, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining us on your Thursday. Well, we saw a storm system move on through and in fact, still working its way out of Colorado at the moment. But as I roll the radar and satellite forward, well, a lot of that precipitation mostly went through the high country. And our current temperatures right now, as that storm system went through, it cooled us down a little bit. So our temperatures right now are mostly into the 40s with 43 in Grand Junction and 46 degrees into Montrose. But our higher elevations is actually almost approached freezing, not really, 37 into Aspen. The only thing is the reason I'm pointing out the high countries and the fact that they were in the 30s is because as that storm system went through the high country, it actually saw some snow. In fact, right now, if you look at our road conditions, I'm up into Vail Pass, zoomed in on the road, that is snow up there, not currently falling at the moment, but that is a little taste of some more fall like weather. We're going to see that mostly start to melt away throughout the day because our temperatures are actually going to start heating up. But for the rest of our area, we actually didn't see any snow, just up into elevations above 10,000 feet. So, Vail Pass. You might see a little bit of snow flurries if you're headed out that way to start your morning out. Right now into the Grand Valley, though, on our America's Mattress Live Tower camera, we're looking at a very clear morning. Just a little tiny bit of some cloud cover still left over into the higher elevations to start your morning off, but we're going to progressively dry out through most of the day. Reason is, is that storm system that went through our area as of yesterday, lots of lightning and thunder associated with it. Well, it's now started to move off towards the Midwest and the Great Lakes states at this point. You can see just this area of some raid right now going through the Dakotas and mostly into the northern part of the U.S. But most of our weather comes from the west and we are looking out on the west coast of the U.S. Really not looking at very much. And that's because we're going to see a little bit of a change from some storms to some more sunny conditions. Reason is, is because most of that moisture, again, out of here, you can see this huge area of some moisture that is leaving our area. But this red, that's all dry air coming in that came in as of yesterday, mostly into the evening hours is when we really started to see that dry air start to take over. And it's actually going to keep moving in. In fact, we have it for quite some time, and so that's going to bring us some more clear weather, mostly sunny skies, and it's also going to be dragging in some more heat from the southwest. And so we are actually going to see some more summer-like conditions and a little bit above average than what we would normally see around this time. We still have one more day, though, as we're working on moving all of that moisture out in that colder air. We're actually going to stay cooler for one more day. Our temperatures are going to be mostly into the 70s for today, and we'll We'll have mostly sunny skies through the entire area, but we're actually going to heat up progressively throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. So here's a look at our seven day forecast. Still have 70s for today. 74 is the temperature for today for Grand Junction, 81 for tomorrow, and then we'll have all that sunshine approach 90 degrees by the weekend before we actually get another cold front coming through with some storms with it and have chances of storms starting next week. For Montrose, high of 71 for today, 78 for tomorrow, and we have 80s by Saturday and Sunday. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I hope you're having a great Thursday. We'll be right back.